All right, a completely clear max track, but of course this is just the transition day. Not expecting any showers and thunderstorms. We're not quite low enough in pressure out there. We have enough to keep us sunny for today. In fact, we're already starting off with partly cloudy skies, but by the afternoon, We'll get back to mostly sunny, so things will be hot and humid again for today, but not expecting any of this stuff. You see the showers and thunderstorms, a lot of severe weather going through Oklahoma City early this morning, but that was all activity that was going out towards uh, portions of Kansas, Colorado. You see the cold front there, warm front, and we're on the southern side of that, so that's why we have really ramped up our, our heat and our humidity throughout the last several days. But also another storm system that's sitting up in the Great Lakes, and that's kind of bringing in some rain thunderstorm activity all the way up through the uh, New England states and right along the Canadian border there. But for uh, that system causing a lot of issues, especially in the plains and all the way up towards the Midwest, the upper Midwest uh, for flooding out there. And a lot of areas are getting a lot of high water, but it's because it's been sitting there. That's the problem is we have high pressure and when that Bermuda high moves on shore and blocks everything from getting to us, it usually keeps things stagnant over areas to our north and west. And so because of that, they deal with a lot of rain day in and day out. So that's why flooding is a big issue for them. We're south, we're south of this system, so a southerly wind will keep us hot and humid throughout the day today. High pressure keeps us free from storms. Uh, one or two, maybe right along the Virginia state line possible, but it's not going to be a big deal. For tomorrow, now we're breaking down that high pressure, getting a little closer to that low pressure. So with it, now we have a smaller chance or a better chance for uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms. It'll be a small chance, but it's still certainly there. And if you live in southeastern Kentucky and southern Kentucky, that's your best chance for any kind of activity throughout the afternoon tomorrow. Then getting into Monday, same thing, breaking down high pressure, getting closer to low pressure, adding in that better chance for showers and thunderstorms. And this time the entire forecast area uh, will start to deal with that. So heavy downpours, lightning strikes, gusty winds, the typical stuff that comes in with some of these thunderstorms as they blossom up throughout the afternoon. So once again, today we're back to mostly sunny by the afternoon, clear overnight tonight, then those showers and storms flaring up throughout the afternoon tomorrow. They go away overnight into Monday and then boom, another round comes through by the afternoon. It's just day in and day out, that diurnal cycle where we get those afternoon showers and storms that go away in the overnights, they come back the next day. Not a lot collectively with rain. That's the case in the summer. We don't get a lot everywhere, but under one of these, you will get a pretty decent downpour and that could eventually, especially considering that we're going to have several days of this lead to some flooding issues, especially throughout the middle of the week before we get that cold front Thursday and Friday, more widespread rain. So especially the end of the week, we will be focusing our attention on the possibility for some flooding coming up. But until then, not expecting much. Temperatures are going to be in the mid 80s for today. 86 is our normal high 89 well above and then back down below once we get the cold front over the end of the week and that cooler air finally starts to punch through. We'll take it, especially considering how hot and how humid the entire week will be. So practice good heat safety. Stay hydrated. Stay in the shade as much as possible. When you hear that thunder head indoors, let that storm pass you. It'll certainly be here all the way throughout the week. Rain thunderstorms over the end of the week will bring cooler and drier air for the weekend.